It's all just lies. None of the people in power are interested in your health. They are interested in one thing and one thing only, the contents of your back pocket. And in this video, we're going to explore the ridiculousness of some of this stuff. Firstly, let me say the only way I think we can fight back against this propaganda is to take our health into our own hands. The only person who is going to look after you is you. Your ultimate act of defiance is your good health. First, let's go to Harvard. And this is a well-known study by now. A study that purports to find an association between the consumption of red meat and type 2 diabetes. But change the questions on the surveys and you'll also find a link between bread product consumption and type 2 diabetes. You'd also find a link between soda and type 2 or ultra-processed foods generally and type 2. It all depends on your perspective. They want red meat to be the villain, so they're going to work super hard to make sure they evaluate their studies through the correct lens. Now think about this. They want you to believe that the food that we've been eating forever, animal products like red meat, fish and eggs, are bad for us. They want you to believe that specifically red meat will make you sick. It'll give you a metabolic disease that's only been common since we started consuming mass-produced plant-based foods. Makes total sense. They want you to believe that food that has been around forever poses a bigger threat to you than food that is mass-produced by for-profit companies. And in fact, they want you to believe that even though red meat consumption has decreased steadily over the last 50 years and disease like type 2 diabetes has skyrocketed in the last 50 years, red meat is to blame. Well, I call BS. The only people that still believe Harvard are those who haven't had their eyes opened yet or those people that just go along with Harvard's narrative for political or monetary reasons. Now we come to the Tufts Food Compass. Partially funded by the NIH, the Food Compass ranks food with a score and a traffic light system. This new food ranking system wants you to believe that non-food is more nutritious for you than food. For example, Cheerios rated 95 and got a green light, whereas ground beef, remember red meat is the villain, rated 26 and got a red light. So we are to believe that mass-produced cereal, which has a slightly lower nutritional profile than the painted cardboard box it's stored in, is more healthy for us than red meat. Even Lucky Charms, rated a 60 with a yellow light and beat out an egg and ground beef. Again, I call BS. It just makes no sense. Now, I've been called out occasionally in the comments of my videos saying that I shouldn't be using the food compass this way. I shouldn't be using it to compare food against food. But if that's not what it's for, then the food compass is even more stupid than I'd first given it credit for. Any system that rates similarly categorized items and doesn't expect those items to be compared is stupid or is just trying to confuse the public, potentially for some kind of gain for the designers of this. Who knows? Anyway, I went to their About page to have a look to see if there was any information about the funding that they received. And uh, we have down here, we've got a list of people who um, were involved, uh, the faculty and team members. And we've got sponsors and affiliates down here. Now, um, it says this research was supported by uh, Danone and the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute, National Institutes of Health, etc. So it doesn't seem like there's, you know, from what they're saying here, it doesn't seem like there's lots of different big, massive food companies jumping in, although I think Danone is a food company. Um, but I decided I'd just go and the reason he's highlighted is I decided I'd go and have a look at one of the team members and see uh, what their work history is. So I looked up this Colin Rem on LinkedIn and we have uh, Colin Rem here and you can see he's been uh, research assistant at the University of Washington, uh, research fellow at Harvard, postdoctoral fellow at Tufts, manager of research and evaluation at Montefiore Health System, and a senior principal scientist at PepsiCo. Since 
December 2019. Good old Colin. I rest my case. It's all BS. And if you want to discover the one core secret you need to get on the carnivore diet and stick with it, check out this video next.